Oh my god, we're gonna do this again, Aaron Freeman, I am so sorry. What is up guys, Kiefer Adams here. Welcome back to the channel where I put the K in Kiefer. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I thought because how well the Buckman Thomas and Friends collection video went, I thought, let's look at the other electric train merchandise brand that Thomas and Friends were known for, and that is the Hornby range. I used to have every character, but until Buckman came along, some of them had to be made into custom models, which you'll be seeing in this video. Unfortunately, you will not be seeing the likes of Edward, James, Percy, Toby, Duck, Diesel, and many other characters in the collection, because as I said, when I got the Buckman versions, some of the Hornby versions were made into scrap detail, or as you're going to see in this video, they were made into other characters or other variants. I'd also like to give a personal shout out to Aaron Freeman, who kindly handed down to me some of his Hornby models in 2013, and since then I've been keeping them mostly in pristine condition, along with the customs you're about to see. So, without any further ado, let's go into the video. We kick off the video with my latest additions to Buckman. The Origins James, which is James's livery from The Adventure Begins, and of course, a model I've always been waiting for, Daisy. Hopefully when Peter Sam comes along, I might do another update video in the future. Here we have the Hornby Thomas, its current version of course, as it has the moulded lamp on the side. Love the lighter blue to the original, and it looks quite nice. Next to him we have what's left of my Hornby Henry. I've repainted it out, and as you can see, I do not have the tender. This is because if I was to ever make my own Thomas and Friends series, this would be Henry's old shape form. All I'd have to do is put the Buckman tender at the back. But it's nice to know that some parts of Henry are still intact. Over here we got Stepney, one of my favourite characters of the franchise. And this is the Hornby Stepney that was released with Spencer back in 2012 as part of the limited 2000 models collection. I was lucky to get Stepney because of course I really liked seeing him in the show. And all I've done is just updated his buffers a little. Next to him we got Murdoch, one of the last steam engines made by Hornby. And if we take a good gander at him, I have to admit he's a very nice model. Unfortunately his original tender coupling broke, so I'm not sure if you can all see that. I had to make do with something else, but he still works well. And I really like the model. Next to him we have the very last character to make it to Hornby, Dart. And he is the only character made in, from the CGI era. I really like Dart's design. And for the headlamp, all I've managed to do is find a bolt and put a piece of Lego on the front. Now you're probably wondering what Splodge are doing back here, but you're actually looking at what was my Hornby Aryan Burt. As I mentioned before, some of these models were passed down to me by Aaron Freeman, and when I got the Buckman counterparts, Aryan Burt's Hornby forms became Splodge, obviously because of the facial expressions. Next we have D261, or Class 40, along with 7101. Like Stepney, both diesels have had a bit of uh, a buffer makeover, but 7101's buffer beam had to be completely redone as one of his original buffers was missing. But they still look very nice. Over here we have Ali and Clarabelle. I have to admit, Thomas would not be complete without them. And behind them we got the Troublesome Trucks and Scruffy. And we have an extra truck in the collection, and this is my take on a first season style truck. But it's not the only custom along with Splodge you'll be seeing in just a moment. One thing I will say about Annie Clarabelle and the trucks is, as I mentioned in my Buckman collection, I will stick to the Hornby versions because it's all I have. Next we have what became of my Hornby Oliver and Toad. Again, these models were passed down by Aaron Freeman. 
And once I had the Buckman counterparts, I converted these into their scrap livery from Escape. And what I've done with Oliver here is I've added his railway series number. So if I was to do my own series, like I said with the Hornby Henry, this is how Oliver and Toad would look in Escape form. And right at the back here we've got Old Slow Coach, one of my favourite rolling stock models. It would receive full marks if it was uh, similar to the livery she wore when she appeared in the television series. And just when you think that is it for the Hornby and Extra Buckman items, there's just one more thing I want to share. It gives me great pleasure to reveal one of my favourite custom models that I've done and that is Flying Scotsman. This version uses the front of Gordon's Hornby model, complete with Scotsman's nameplate from his actual Hornby Thomas and Friends model. The smoke deflectors were made from cardboard and the, and the entire model was painted for acrylic. Scotsman's cab and tender details were printed off through Microsoft PowerPoint and a big shout out for, to Aaron Freeman for helping out on those. This tender uses the Hornby Thomas and Friends Flying Scotsman and this one from the Hornby Railroad Tornado which I've converted into a water tender. The tender chassis came from James and Edwards Hornby models which is why I don't have them anymore. And if you take a look between the tender couplings here, all I've done is I've added a take-along buffer beam on the front of the second tender, and the coupling system is actually from the Hornby Toy Story 3 train set. So all you do is just clip the tender in like that, and you've got a full model. And of course, if we look at the back of the second tender, I had a spare corridor from a Hornby coach, and added it on the back. And so, that is my custom flying Scotsman. I do hope you'll like it, because it was possibly one of my favourite projects to ever work on. And so there you go. That is my entire Hornby Thomas and Friends collection, including the Buckman Origins James and Daisy, which I got during the creation of this video. Not to mention also the custom models, as you saw, of Splodge, my first season Troublesome Truck, Scrap Oliver and Toad, and of course, Flying Scotsman. I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for your support on the audio stories that I've been working on, especially for Oliver Takes the Road, the Marklin Engine, and of course, all the other stories. I'd also like to give a little shout out to Geo Blue Cropper Studios, who has managed to adapt most of my stories on trains, so thank you for doing that. A question everyone's been asking me is, can I adapt these stories? And yes, you can. There will be more stories to come in the future, and I would be honoured to have any of these stories. You've got James and the Old Coaches, The Marklin Engine, Oliver Takes the Road, Douglas and the Duck, Great Western Surprise, and North Western Diesel, for the moment, to choose from. It's been an absolute privilege to have been working on these stories and I can't thank each and every one of you enough for your comments, the likes, everything. And, it'll, and it's given me more motivation to express my Thomas fandom side of things, so thank you very much. And of course, a big thank you to Aaron Freeman, who as I mentioned before, passed down some of the Hornby models to me all those years ago. That is it from me. Expect an all new Thomas and Friends audio story to come and maybe just one day I'll be revealing more custom models that I've made. But until then, I'm Kiefer Adams. Take care.